Joining us is Holly Passmore, who manages uh, insects and diseases here at Bear Creek Farms. Holly, you use a variety of biological controls. Tell me about some of those and how they're employed. Yes, we've used ladybug beetles um, for the aphid outbreaks, um, and we've had really good success with that. Um, we've used the, the parasitic mites for, the, for our spider mites. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that you apply both in the greenhouse, um, but you can also use this in the field as well. Yes, you mm -hmm. can. And in the field, I notice you use cover crops uh, over the winter on your beds. Yes, every fall we put Austrian winter peas on our beds. And then in the spring, when the ladybugs all nest in it, when the bad bugs come out, then everything's right there to just take care of them. So you're creating this really nice overwintering site um, to keep those beneficial insects in the field. Um, they're ready to go. And of course, we have the added benefit of just protecting and building our soils with those cover crops. Yes. So overall, what kind of impact do you, have you found using biological control? Um, it's, it's a lot nicer. Um, I don't like suiting up and spraying chemicals, mm -hmm. so and it's better on the environment, and it's not scary. Mm -hmm. And I think as a consumer, I like the idea that the flowers I'm buying aren't covered with chemicals, because of course I'm going to put them up to my nose and smell them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Have you been able to reduce significantly your pesticide inputs? Yes, because everything we use is a biological or, you know, just something odd combination that we use mm -hmm. um, that's not harmful. Excellent. Well, it's so wonderful to see biological control being put successfully to use. Thanks for sharing. No problem.